Oh, a little bit of soil 101, so yeah. you can teach us a bit about it. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever taken the pants off a plant? What kind of girl do you think I am? <laughs> Answer the question. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Let's take the pot off a plant. Okay. Just the reason why I want to show you this is I really want you to take a look. The roots. At the root system of a plant. And so you can see the roots, of course, are where a plant's going to anchor itself. That means so that's what's going to help it stand up. The roots as well is what's going to allow that plant to breathe. It's going to what these are really the hoses that allow that plant to take in moisture and nutrients. Right. Where are they all located? In the soil. So a lot of the times people out there just go out and decide, I'm just going to go out there and garden. Any old soil is just soil. It's just dirt. It's just I'm dirt. I'm just going to grab that deal? bag right there. That bag. Hey, yeah. what's the bag? Put five in the back of the car. <laughs> so there's different soils and there's so many different soils out there. We all know there's potting soils that are meant for containers. Right. Uh, you know, there's even soils that are actually formulated for different types of plants themselves. You know, we have a cacti soil that's over here that has a little bit heavier sand content in it, so it's gonna okay. create a little bit more drainage. So all of this isn't just marketing, it really means something. It does really mean something. Because I think a something. lot of us are just like, well, soil, soil, who cares? Yeah. It is gonna make a difference, yeah. though. Yeah, and the key is, so this is this here is peat moss, this is loam. Yes. Okay, so if you look at that, and Is you can that see... another uh, word for manure? No, okay, this good. is, so, yeah. Because they do that yeah. to me a lot no. on this show. No, okay, if you good. look, this is kind of neat. This comes <laughs> From a peat, this comes from a peat bog. Okay. So this is actually just broken down wood. And the way they harvest Feels this good. is they actually have big vacuums that drive across the fields and they vacuum the peat up. That's okay. sustainable peat harvesting. That's good. the way to do it. This is what's really like the sponge in your soil that absorbs all that moisture. Mm -hmm. The reason why I have this moisture meter as well is this moisture meter also has a pH meter. Okay. That's going to measure the acidity of your soil. So if you have a lot of loam in your soil, it's going to be one that's moist, but one that's also acidic. Okay. Some plants like acidic uh, type structures that can do well in acidic. What do you want to grow in there? This one here we're going to use as an amendment. So let's say that we had a lot of sand, a lot of drainage, and really poor ability to retain moisture. This is what we put in. That's but this is fix this it. is one of your building blocks. Okay. This over here is really the perfect garden soil to have outside. And if you want to know what the perfect garden soil is, is so let's say I take some garden soil in my hand mm -hmm. and I'm going to squeeze it just like that. Yeah. So you can see how it bunches up together but at the same time falls apart. Yeah. Okay, that clumping is so important. So this is a perfect consistency of soil mm -hmm. that allows it to clump but fall apart, meaning that it's gonna absorb moisture, but at the same time has the ability to have some drainage. Okay. If you have soil at your house and you go to put it in your hand and you go to clump it and it becomes like a cylinder and you can actually make pottery out of it. <laughs> it's yeah. not so good. No, it's not so good, that's when you have clay. Right. If you go to take soil in your hand and when you go to clump it, it falls right through your fingers. Like dirt. That's sand. Sand right. is full drainage. Yes. This is the happy medium that you want to get. And you can do that by composting and amending. Best okay. time to amend your soils in the fall, frost and thaws of winter. But really, you're looking for a compost that has rich organic matter. Okay. And that's now, what is that, that is. poo? There is some poo, yeah. There, there is, is some poo, poo in there. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, poo, poo is not a bad thing. No, I know. Okay, I this, just I don't know if I want to massage that one. So if we take a little, if we take a little bit of this yeah. loam, we add it into your compost, yes. and we put a little bit of these white things, which are called perlite, in. Right. All of a sudden, we have potting soil. Okay. So yeah. what are the perlite doing? Perlite's just strictly for drainage. Really, okay. there's, there's no nutrients in there. There's nothing like that. Strictly just for drainage. Okay. You can see how this is a much lighter soil, yes. fluffier soil, has the ability to absorb but also dry out at the same time. Really important for people if your pots ever dry out. You ever have your pots yes. dry out? When you go to water them, you'll see the water just rush is right out of the mm -hmm, bottom of them. Mm -hmm. Like a sponge. You know when a sponge becomes dry, how it yes. just actually can't hold water? Uh -huh. So with potting soil, if it dries out and it becomes like where the water rushes out, you water it. Wait about five to ten minutes, go back and water it again. Like that sponge will open up again. Right. For those out there that are looking and when they do a pH test and if they have an acidic soil and or alkaline soil, there's other things that we can put in the soil to change that. So let's say that you okay. have moss in your, if you have moss in your lawn. Right. That right there is showing you acidic soil. Okay. Okay, so that's let's a say good sign. I want to get rid of my moss. One thing that you're going to have to do is put some lime down, neutralize the acidity, mm -hmm. also do some aeration, create some airflow, dry up that area. Boom, the moss doesn't like to grow in that habitat. There's some science happening here. Yeah, I love it. That's why you I really gotta get like that it. balance going. Yeah, so let's say that you have rhododendrons, you have some plants out there, even blueberries, and they're they're the ones that like acid. This seems like we're talking about rolling things up in acid. <laughs> We're Crazy. going there again. Huh? Yeah, we're going there again. That's a soil acidifier. So we can either use this to acidifier soil or we can add 
some more peat moss and or loam in there to acidify the soil for you too. So you have so, the basic ingredients to always make sure you have that balance. You, you gotta have add, balance. take away, but figure it out so it works for the plant you've got. And you'll know what you need for the plant that you're trying to grow? Yeah, so the key is in containers, potting soil. Yes. The easiest thing to take away from this. Right. In the garden, make sure that you're using a good soil, like a triple mix is a really good one. Okay. And really, when it comes out there, just know the soil you have at home. Mm -hmm. And there are so many different ways that you can improve it. If you have clay, build raised beds, build on top of it.